Attention humanity. You are about to witness an experiment in communication. And now, Jig Rock Radio Show. Jig 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 Radio Show. Every once in a while, someone who doesn't fit the mold comes along. The spirit of freedom soars on the wings of faith, hope, and destiny to a place in the hearts and minds of truth and love. Today, all across the sacred soil of America, the family of man needs purpose and reality for their lives. America is one nation among many. Planet Earth is but one among many all of which are inhabited by eternal forces of life in search of perfection. You, my friend, are at the center of this struggle. The free universal soul, symbolically embodied in the flesh of one man, Welcome to my old timey talent before you forget it radio show. Make yourself comfortable for a few minutes and let's see if we can make sense out of nonsense. We've been hearing for years about politics and religion. This is my favorite subject, you know. If you're feeling thirsty, hungry, bored, or tired and think you ain't got time for this, you are dead wrong, neighbor. We've got to set priorities to make sure we use our time and energy efficiently. Now, I can stop talking right now if you start acting like you're not interested in what I got to say. I could go do some cleaning, use my brushes to make oil paintings, uh, get on my computer to play chess or write books, put messages on my websites, watch news on TV, fall asleep to dream up new ideas, talk on the phone or send faxes. But here I am devoting myself to helping you just to make you feel happy again. Now, you already know without being told how much I love to play piano, strum my guitar, sing songs I write, beat on a drum, snap my fingers in time with country music, laugh or be laughed at, walk in the mall to look at pretty girls and eat spoonfuls of peanut butter when I'm not laboring without pay to talk about politics and religion. But in spite of all those alternatives, here I am working hard to reach millions of English-speaking people on the internet all over the world who are in worse shape than you or anyone you know. Since you and I are probably strangers, you've never heard me say what I think about politics and religion. I want you to pay attention to every word. People need to hear this. The strangers out there in the boondoggles want to know what I think about politics and religion, go out there and tell them everything I'm telling you, whether they want to hear it or not. This is important. So if you've been wondering what I think about the latest current events regarding politics and religion, my honest thoughts about it, my personal viewpoint, my unique way of interpreting things, how I perceive it all, my unbiased slant on the legitimate facts. Well, just sit there and listen to what I've got to say. Pretend you're interested just to be polite, even if you think you got better things to do. You know what I mean? This is your chance to be intelligently indoctrinated in detail. The whole cotton-picking kitten caboodle, a comprehensive dissertation. Freely given for your edification so you'll never need to wonder again what I think about politics and religion. No matter what you've heard other idiots say before you tuned into this show today, I ain't never believed in all that low-down, wicked mockery of reality, them mentally deranged media pundits with twisted logic, who give us their Stone Age philosophical poppycock and anti-God rhetoric straight from hell like they are devil-inspired and glad to spread deception. We independents go crazy when we hear lies about 
separation of church and state. Those stupid ideas they used to explain separation of church and state concepts go against everything I believe about politics and religion. Freedom of speech is a wonderful thing. I value it more than freedom to do evil or freedom to act like an idiot. Politics and religion ain't got nothing to do with all that crap. Them other folks shovel into conversations, making us feel sick to our stomachs and sick in our heads. My kind of politics and religion is all about truth, love, and the beauty of holiness, which is something like the purity of virginity. All that legal mumble-jumble like crackpot lawyers use ain't got nothing to do with common sense, as I understand it. My carefully considered revolutionary appreciation for the basic, time-tested, demonstrated manifestation of divinity in our lives is the only hope remaining for humankind. There ain't no other way to have dreams about heaven on earth or community unity in a mere Jericho. We need to protect ourselves from insane people who separate government from God. Hey, we got to tell them degenerates who made a mess out of things. We need God more than he needs us. Meanwhile, this is James Reeser, dreaming about becoming governor of Tennessee, saying, whoever you are and wherever you are, try to remember, politics and religion do mix. <laughs> Every man, woman, and child can learn to complement nature's pattern within our own society by doing those things that will keep the family structure strong and independently secure. Together, we can face the failures and the successes of our efforts. We can listen to the music of the angels. We can read the words of our poets. And we can watch the magic of our future unfold before our very eyes. James Reeser believes the Lord Jesus lives, and he can live in you, whether you be a beggar, a liar, or a thief, a wheeler dealer businessman, or a playgirl in the street. Peace and love from the bright side of the sun. Radio Show.